Dynamic data is a tool used to populate a field with information pulled out of one of your database tables. This can be useful when you want to load a large number of selections or the selections available change based on what's been selected on the form. Dynamic data can be used to populate a drop-down menu, checkbox, or radio group, and can also insert text into a heading element. Let's take a look at some of the basics of using dynamic data. Here's an already created form that is going to be used as our data source. It's populated with the series of events as you can see here. This is the data I want to pull into my event registration form. Let's switch over to the form designer of the event registration form. We'll first take a look at a simple example of dynamic data. In this example, all we want to do is pull the data from the events table into a field on the form so it can be selected. First, let's add a radio button group to the form and call it events. Now instead of editing the field values property to set the values, scroll down to dynamic data. In the dynamic data wizard, select the lookup form slash table field and then select events. Select the checkbox return all records. Here we can configure what we want to show for each return record. Click on the wildcard icon and choose event name. We'll leave the other more advanced settings and click next. The only thing we want to change on this screen is the populate on load option since we want to populate the checkbox group with our events as soon as it loads. You can sort by event name, descending, and then click finish. Now preview the form to see the changes. You'll see that the radio button is automatically populated with all the values from the events table. Now let's return to the form designer to explore some of the other options. We can add the feature of making the list of events conditional based on a selection on the form, and also return and populate a couple of other fields with our lookup data. We're going to add a drop down menu from our custom element section that asks for the type of event. This value corresponds to the type of event field in our lookup data. Then we're going to add two new fields. The first is a text field labeled Event City. And then we'll add a long text area labeled Event Description. We'll populate these fields with lookup data when it is returned and a selection is made. Now let's edit the dynamic data. Deselect Return All Records. Now we only want to return records that match the selected event type. Click Edit Query and create a rule that selects only the events where the event type matches the selected event. In order to use a value entered on the form, we need to click the little form field icon to switch from a plain text entry to a list of available fields on the form. On the Return Data tab, click the Multi-Field Population Settings button. Multi-Field Population is the process of populating additional fields on your form with the lookup data. Click Add Row and map the looked up event city to the city field on our form. Do the same for the event description. Select the additional lookup options and deselect Populate on Load. This time, we want to wait until a selection is made before we run the dynamic lookup. Now let's click Finish and preview the form. Now as we make a selection, the lookup runs and returns the matching results. When we click on one of the radio buttons, you'll see the city and description are populated with the lookup data. Dynamic data is a powerful concept that can be used to create intelligent forms that adapt to your user's input. With dynamic data, the possibilities are endless.